I want to tell you a story. This is a story of an isolated group in trouble. This is a story of how help can come from unexpected places. This is a story of how two immigrant foxes are helping save one of North America's most threatened mammals. And that mammal is the Sierra Nevada red fox, an endangered subspecies of red fox found in the Sierra Nevadas. A species so endangered that in the 1990s it was actually thought to be extinct. However, in August of 2010, photographic and genetic evidence discovered a remnant population just north of Yosemite. But there was a problem with this population. You see, the issue here is that the Sierra Nevada red fox population that was found had only 20 individuals. Now, in any population of organism, genes tell us an incredible amount of information. So that's why in 2010, Quinn et al. began sampling this species. For seven years, they collected genetic material from these foxes to better understand how that genetic diversity changes over time. Populations that have higher genetic diversity, that is, more variety of genes found within their population, usually has a much higher chance of survival. Should the climate change? Should a new threat enter the habitat? Should any number of factors directly influence the survivability of a population? It's that genetic diversity that is going to ensure that this population survives long term. So what happened in the Sierra Nevada red foxes to reduce this diversity so low. It went through some type of bottleneck effect where there was long-standing diversity in the population, but as it shrunk, less and less diversity was able to stay within that population. And because of this small population, it is much harder to mate with individuals that you are not closely related to. This ends up decreasing diversity as inbreeding effects start to come into play. And of course, this population is very isolated. There is not gene flow bringing in new genetic diversity into the population. All of these factors start working together against the population, decreasing their numbers and making them less likely to survive as they become more inbred, as their genetic options decrease, as they become smaller and smaller in size, the effects worsen more and more. But what they did not expect was a genetic rescue. Genetic rescue is where genetic diversity is restored, usually through some type of mitigation strategy. This is often used in conservation to protect small, inbred, endangered species. So the Sierra Nevada red fox populations in the western United States would be a perfect candidate for this. However, this wasn't a conservation strategy put forth by a team of researchers and an NGO. This wasn't some intentional addition of new individuals to a population. This was a natural example of genetic rescue. And it happened because of two immigrant foxes coming in and rescuing this population. You see, in 2012, two foxes from the Great Basin Desert migrated into the Sierra Nevada populations. And in doing so, they brought their own genetic diversity. They restored gene flow to this population. And the results were stunning. Where this population had previously not been producing litters, for the next five years, they produced up to three litters a year. And what's more is that because Quinn et al. were sampling genetic diversity from before these Great Basin Desert foxes came in, they could actually observe how the genetic diversity changed. In only two short years, the genetic diversity and the number of unique gene variants in the population doubled. During this time, the abundance of the population, how many individuals there were, increased. And the survival of these individuals remained very high through the seven years this study was conducted. And if you look at the pedigree, the family tree of this population, what you'll see is that all of the new individuals in the population are direct descendants of these two male immigrant foxes. 
Now, the last data published for this group is in 2017, and in fact, the paper describing these results is from 2019. So we don't actually know the long-term effects of how these immigrant foxes ultimately changed this population. However, what we can see are the short-term effects. We can see the trajectory that it's leading them on, and it seems to be a trajectory of recovery. So what do we have here? What we have here is a story. We have a story of how an isolated group of Sierra Nevada red foxes were in trouble because of low genetic diversity. What we have here is a story of how two immigrant foxes came into the population and fundamentally changed its trajectory. What we have here is a story of natural conservation. In conservation, we are often trying to save species, save populations, save individuals that are important. However, we are always trying to learn more about how to save species. Not all populations, not all species, not all groups, not all individuals are as lucky to have this natural genetic rescue occur to them. In fact, the vast majority of them, this does not occur. So by taking information from natural processes, by seeing how it can have dramatic effects on if a species is going to be extinct or not, we can apply that information to any threatened species. And that's how we can save them. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is the power that allows us to create lasting change. Knowledge is the power that allows us to create effective policies and ideas. Knowledge is the power to understand a system. And it's by understanding that system that we can make effective change, that we can create policies that make a difference. By understanding the system, we can create conservation goals that actually work. I hope you like this story.